Hi, this is Massimo and in this video I'm going to talk about collections and chasers. So I went ahead and created a few scenes as we've seen in the previous video. And now we can start um, creating some more uh, complex uh, functions in QSC+. So first of all, I have the possibility of grouping in a logical way uh, my functions. So I can basically create folders like this. I can name a folder, whatever I want, like back scenes. And uh, I can basically drag and drop all my scenes into a folder like this. Um, this is a way of uh, um, a, a logical uh, ordering of uh, functions in QSC+. Plus. Of, of course, you are it's up to you how to organize your uh, functions um, if by fixture groups or uh, fixture features and so on so it's really up to you so um, i have a few scenes so for example if i uh, select some uh, some of them like dimmer at 75 and magenta and position front for example if I hit preview like this, I can instantly see a result, which is basically uh, all the three scenes running all together. I have also um, a stop button with an indication of how many scenes are running uh, in this moment. Uh, this is a global uh, indication, so you can, in case of panic, you can stop all the functions all at once, and this is the button um, to do it. Uh, but what if I um, uh, pack these three functions all together? So I just can um, add them to uh, a new collection. So a collection is basically a group of functions. You can add any function type of uh, QSC+, not just scenes. And the functions in uh, a collection are uh, ran all together at the same time but with a specific order so basically from the top to the bottom so make sure you don't add functions acting to the same channels they can lead to unexpected conflicts um, but basically the rules applied are always http and ltp uh, like uh, every everywhere in in the dmx world so um, it will run D dimmer, magenta, and position. So if I run the collection now, like this, as you can see, I have four running functions because I have my three scenes plus the collection itself. So they, it's basically a way of um, packing in one single functions multiple QSC plus functions. But what if I want to uh, animate a few functions uh, with a timing. For example, I have some color functions here and I can select them in a precise order that I want. For example, like this, magenta, chano, and red and yellow. And likewise, collections, I can create a so-called chaser. A chaser is basically um, a list of functions Again, you can add any type of function in um, in a chaser, so even another chaser, so nesting together. And a function is basically a way to reproduce uh, with the, with specific timings all the uh, added functions. So if I run my chaser, it will hold the function for one second and it will cycle indefinitely like this. But as you can see, I cannot see anything because these are just color scenes. So I can do this, like select the my back group and raise the dimmer. And here you will see the result because I am basically holding the dimmers up and my chaser is running. Uh, it's already by default holding one second um, and it's cycling through my scenes. So let's start to see what I can do with the chaser. So if I go to run properties, I have many parameters here that, that I can um, modify, like the direction, for example, I can play in this way or 
backward like this I can for example um, decide what kind of a uh, playback strategy I want to use for example if I randomize the order it will play uh, steps randomically like this but of course the order is very randomic if you like it um, I can uh, do single shot or ping pong it means it runs up to the end and then back or single shot it runs just once to the end let's stick to the loop playback and then uh, by default the uh, chaser timing are um, defined by the chaser itself for example now I have one second and I cannot modify fade in and fade out because I am in default mode like this but I can surely modify it for example the hold time like this and it will um, be for all the um, steps because the duration is common right now but I can also modify for example uh, the fading transition and I can say I want one second of fade transition and then if I hit tab I can go to the next field and I want um, for example one second yeah basically it's the duration so one second two seconds of duration means uh, one second of hold and one of fading so if I play the chaser now I will have this effect so basically I have created a um, chaser where steps fade for one second and then hold for another, another second and then go to the next uh, queue basically the next step um, this is a really easy way to create uh, some animations, some more interesting effect and it's just by using scenes so as I said before uh, chasers can hold any type of QSC plus functions so you can really uh, increase the complexity of your show by adding more and more functions to a chaser um, if I want to, uh, for example, fix a dimmer with my chaser, I can do this and I can create another collection and I have now a collection that does everything. So if I reset the uh, dimmers, I will have the uh, chaser with my dimmer uh, at 50%. Uh, this is a container, so if I want, for example, the dimmer at 75% I can do this of course I will run it before the um, the chaser and I can remove the 50% channel the 50% uh, function so if I run it again I will have my dimmers at 75% so likewise I can even put uh, collections in my chaser so for example um, this is the first collection that I uh, created this is like uh, um, back uh, uh, front for example just to remember what it is and then I can create for example um, dimmer at 50% I want uh, the green color and then position center and I create another collection named uh, back uh, green center something like this and if I create a um, chaser with these two steps like uh, I can modify the hold like this and I play it I will have something like this So if I modify again the fade-in time, like this, I will have also a fade transition on 
my uh, movement and also the colors. So again, this is basically another step toward um, more complexity of your show. Um, it offers a lot of possibilities. Uh, so it's up to you how to organize your light show uh, depending on your usage, the, how many fixtures you have and so on. So basically this is the introduction how to use this tool. So for this video, again, this is all for now. Thanks for watching and ciao!